What's going on everybody? I am Sam and on this episode of how much you should pay, we're going to be going over how much you should be paying for the rubber ducky isopod. Stay tuned. Now since this isn't really a reptile, but it is part of the reptile hobby, you kind of got to watch this video that I had made on isopods so you kind of know what they are and what to expect with them. So to get started, the rubber ducky isopod, they are by no means a rare animal. They are very common in the isopod hobby. However, they are a little bit slow to breed and they do not have large broods or basically what we say offspring amounts. They don't tend to have a large amount of that. So they are a little bit more difficult to take care of in that aspect. Now with that being said, they, as I mentioned, are not rare. And once you get them going, they breed all year round, which is awesome because once you get your hands on these more higher end isopods, you basically are set. However, you do need to make sure you are giving them the correct care requirements because they are very sensitive animals and they are more of an intermediate level isopod. They need a little bit more different types of care and a little bit more caution when caring for them before you can start to get a large amount of them. Now, as I've mentioned before, I know people who do this just for their living and I'm gonna go with another story that happened at a reptile show I went to there was a lady who had some isopods there she had the rubber ducky isopod which they're not rare as I mentioned but a lot of people want them they are probably one of the coolest looking ones and just overall very unique this lady had six of them that she was selling for hundred and twenty dollars and when I asked her how many she didn't have it written on the cup she said that she had she thinks six for one, most of the times isopods are sold in quantities of 10. So if you're selling six, that's already kind of just a red flag in my mind that you shouldn't be going with that. I like to get them in larger quantities. 10 is probably the bare minimum of an isopod amount that I would get. Unless it's like a super, super rare one that are really high quality and but we're not going to really get into that. However, if you're getting rubber duckies, you should always get them in at least a quantity of 10 so that you have a significant amount of males to females. Now, when paying an actual price for 10 of them, the way I think of it is I wouldn't go more than $10 an animal. So basically in total, $100. However, most of the time when getting rubber ducky isopods, you're probably going to have to ship them. So you got to keep in mind, you're probably going to have to add $30 to $50 on a shipping cost. But for the animals themselves, I would say about $100 for 10 of them. I see them go up from 120 all the way to 200 and I think that's a complete ripoff. I'm trying to help you guys out. There are people who are just going to take advantage of you, especially if you don't really know about them. I got 12 of them for about 80 bucks, which is a little bit on the really lucky side. But what I'm saying is that paying $200 for 10 rubber ducky ice pods is completely overpriced. You definitely should not be paying that much for these. Now, a lot of times when it comes to sexing isopods, or what I should say, sexing reptiles, you're going to have more expensive for females to males. It doesn't really matter with isopods because they're hard to sex in the first place. And if you do, it doesn't really matter in the first place because you're just going to get a mix of them. You're going to get quite a significant amount being 10 or more. So with that, if you're at a reptile show or you're looking to buy some online or a morph market, I wouldn't pay more than $100 for 10 of them. So thank you for watching this week's episode, and we will see you next Sunday.